What's up, YouTube? Top City 5401 here. I've had a pretty busy week in the hobby. Haven't made any videos. I've been working a lot lately. Work's been a grind, but Sunday night, relaxing here. Just finished watching Game 5 of the 2020 World Series. I was able to watch innings 7, 8, and 9. Rays played really well. They definitely had the Dodgers on their heels. Dodgers take game five. I'm hoping for a seven-game series. Of course, I'm rooting for Tampa Bay, so go Tampa Bay. Now on to this week's pickups. So if you guys follow me on Facebook, you probably know I picked up... Whoa, 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 whoa. This Johnny Bench rookie card. I found it in the bargain box at my LCS. I picked it up for eight bucks, and I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, wow, man, that's a great deal. But there are two creases, one on this side and one on this side, going right down the middle. But the eye appeal on this card is absolutely stunning. That's what I go after, guys. On some of the low-grade vintage, I'm all about eye appeal. Card has fantastic eye appeal, great centering, great registry. Uh, crisp color. The back is nice as well. So very, very thrilled with that pickup. Didn't have a Johnny Bench rookie. Not looking to spend hundreds of dollars on an example. I just want one in my collection. So there we go. That's card number one. That was at the LCS. I had actually gone to the LCS to pick up top loaders for all those ad pieces that I showed in a video a couple of weeks back. And they look pretty good. That turkey red right there looks good. Top loader. They have those thick top loaders. And then I got that Bowman ad piece for 2004. Of course, I got the Topps Chrome. So all that stuff looks good on the desk there. What up, latex glove? <laughs> if you guys saw that sitting there. So anyways, um, got, those, uh, got those top loaders when I picked up that Johnny Bench. Then my brother-in-law paid me a visit at work and he's getting rid of his stuff and he had his childhood collection. Hey, he had about a thousand cards, all from 1988. And I went through his whole collection and I, I uh, picked out a few highlights to show off. So uh, what up, Tyler, my brother-in-law? Real nice of him to hand the cards or give me the cards, but we got the Mark Grace rookie card. I thought that was cool. Nice Matt Williams rookie card. Most of his cards were beat up because he had them in a shoebox. So I I just left him left him in the shoebox. I'll probably end up end up just passing them on to some kids that want to play with some baseball cards. There's a crispy Ozzy Smith from 1988. And for those of you guys that didn't collect in the junk wax era, look at how cool some of these cards are. There is the um, Rock Rains. Tim Rock Reigns right there. Nice looking cards. Of course, they're overproduced. Found that in the box. Rest in peace, Bob Gibson. Cool card there. And then we got Will the Thrill. A nice 1988 Greg Maddox. That's a cool card. Cool Wade Boggs All-Star card. Love that 88 Tops All-Star cards. It's just very nostalgic. One of my favorite cards, Dave Stewart from 88 Tops. Stu was a man back in 88. Love that guy. This is probably the Chase card. When you bought a box of 1988 Tops, back in 88, this is a card you wanted to pull. This one, the Maguire and the Conseco. I would say the Mattingly, the Maguire, and the Conseco are the three cards you wanted to pull. There's a nice looking Doc Gooden. And then we got Ryan Sandberg. And the key card, the key card now from 1988 Tops, he had it. The Tom Glavin rookie card. So, so I thought that was fun, kind of thumbing through my brother-in-law's childhood collection. Then one eBay pickup that I just had to have, this nice power driven from 1996 Upper Deck. That's Ken Griffey Jr. Cool card there, very shiny. Nice one there. I picked that one up for like five bucks shipped on eBay. And then 
I picked up some cards off Burbank. So here we go. Starting off with the Tops Reserve. This is one of the parallels. This one's numbered to 150. Nice looking card there. You don't see these too often. They don't pop up very often. So thrilled with that. And then the Pristine. The first year of Tops Pristine. I did not have the base card. I have the Refractor, the Gold Refractor, several of the Relics, but I didn't have the base card. I do now. <laughs> so there we go. That was the least valuable card in this Barry Bonds haul. That one is a 1996 or 97 Pacific Prisms. Some, do you guys hear that in the background? Some, I don't know, somebody's car alarm's going off. But anyways, 1997 Pacific Prisms. This is a Platinum Parallel, Barry Bonds. Been wanting this card for a while. And then the uh, 2001 Donruss. This is the baseball's best, the silver stamped parallel. So there's a copper, a silver, and a gold. And the silver has a stated print run of, I think, $499 or $500, I forget. And the gold has $99 and the copper has $999. So this one has to be $499. So I didn't have this one. I have it now. This is a really cool card here of Fleer Futures. This is the parallel from that set. Nice sparkle. Nice shiny sparkle. See the sparkle? Looks like someone spilled a bunch of glitter on the card. Really cool looking card. This parallel is also numbered to $4.99. Love this Artist Proof from 96 Pinnacle. Beautiful card there. Look at that shine. How it kind of moves around in the light. Beautiful card. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. You talk about... Cool parallels, man. When they have like a cool, tough to find parallel with that shine. Can't get enough of that. Then we got a nice relic card from Baseball's Best Fan Club. That one's numbered to 175. Kind of a tougher relic. And then we got another one, a bat relic, numbered to 150. And then the two kickers in the order. We're, are, the first one is this Leaf Limited Lumberjacks Ball Relic. And this one, on the back, it shows where the relics came from. This one is numbered 10 of 10. Always nice to pick up a rare, very rare card. Extremely thrilled with that. Probably my favorite pickup in the whole order was the... I think it's 2001 Upper Deck Gold Exclusives. This one's numbered to 25. You got to love those base low numbered parallels. So this one's numbered 3 of 25. Gold Exclusive. Very nice card there. So that's it, guys. That's my pickups for the week. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let's go for game seven. Right, guys? I want to watch. I want to see a game seven. Go Rays in game six. Go Rays in game seven. And um, obviously, I'm a Giants fan, so I'm not going to be rooting for the Dodgers. And, you know, if the Dodgers, like the best case scenario, too, it's weird. I just want to point this out. It, this might sound weird. I'm glad to see Clayton Kershaw doing well in the postseason. Now that he got his two wins in the World Series, I'd love to see the Rays come back and win it in seven. That's a baseball fan in me, guys. Not not the Giants fan, but the baseball fan in me. But 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 I, but I love to see the greats do well. You want to see them perform well. That's why they're great. So that's enough of that on my rant about Kershaw. Dodgers, Rays in seven. Love baseball cards. And until next time, here, we'll, we'll throw the Johnny Bench and the uh, Griffey insert. Look at all, look at that. What, what a plethora of greatness here. Even, why not? Let's throw this Glavin in here. Love it, man. <laughs> look at that. Look at that pile of greatness. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in. And, and, and as always, until next time, happy collecting.